What's going on guys? This is me John and welcome to a new video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to insert, delete, update and view data in data grid view using MySQL database in Visual Studio 2015. So let's start. Before uh, getting started with this video tutorial, you need to download any server application like WAM server, JAM server, whatever uh, server application you want to install. Uh, these uh, two server applications are free and check out the uh, link in the description section and uh, you need to also download two um, application uh, one is mysql for visual studio and the another one is mysql connector for net check out the description section the link is provided in the description section of this video so uh, let's start open up your visual studio go to file click on new and then click on project Select Windows and then click on uh, uh, select Visual C Sharp and then Windows and then click on uh, Windows Form Application. Then give the name of your project like and then click on OK. Expand it from here. First of all, let me change the color of this Visual Studio because watching video in black color is too much irritating. So let me change the color to light. So we are going to insert roll number, name, address, phone, and then email. So we need to drag and drop uh, four level. So from your toolbox, drag and drop four le five level over here, and then five text box respectively. and then 5 button insert delete update and new that's it 4 button so click on this uh, level first level and then click right click and then go to view from here uh, you need to change the text to rule number and then similar procedure for all level like name here goes the rule number name address and then here goes phone and then here goes email so uh, click on any text box and then right click go to property and then from property change the name of this text box so that uh, you can remember the name of this text box uh, while we are programming so txt Role and then for name, it goes txt name. Similar procedure for all other text box like txt add and then txt phone and then finally txt email. Now click the button and then go to button text property and then change insert delete update and here goes new when you click on this button 
this all text fields should be empty so also you can change the font size of these label and text box from here uh, go to font expand this font and then you can change the font size from here like 14 and similar for all other uh, label and text box so that's it our designing part is completed so after installing your server application open up your server application i mean run your server application and then open up your any browser that you are using and then type localhost or 127.0.0.1 and then click on php my admin click on ok username is root and the default password is empty and then click on new to create a new database for our application like project project mysql and then create table and then number of column is 5 click on go now here goes roll number here goes name here goes address here goes phone and then finally email and then uh, uh data type for roll number is integer and then data type for other field must be bear care Uh, provide the length over here like 150 150 150 150 and then uh, rule number should be auto increment that is primary key so click on save after clicking on save uh, go to sql tab and then click on insert and then copy this insert query from here so that we can use in our program so click on double click on insert button uh, in uh, in order to use the mysql database in visual studio we need to add the reference so right click over reference and then click right click over reference and then click on add reference sets and then click on extension and then scroll down you need to uh, do all these step after installing uh, this uh, this application uh, uh, connector mysql connector for dotnet and then other application is mysql uh, mysql for visual studio and then you need to uh, download server application in order to create a mysql database in your localhost so Add the reference from here, you scroll down and find out mysql dot data. Click on this checkbox and then click on OK. And then here goes using mysql dot data dot mysql client mysql client again you need to connect your database so go to server explorer from here here you can see server explorer right click over data connection and then click on add connection and then from here uh, change the data source to mysql if you are using uh, professional or ultimate version of this uh, visual studio you may see this uh, option mysql database otherwise uh, this option may not be appear so in order to appear this um, option in your visual studio you need to download this uh, application mysql for visual studio so after installing this application you will be able to uh, see this option over here so click on mysql database and then click on ok so server name is 
localhost username is root password is empty select your database from here scroll down then project then you can test your connection connection is successful click ok so click on that connection and then from your property click on this connection string and then copy this connection string from here so we are going to write the query over here mysql connection con is equal to new mysql connection and your connection string go over here that's it and then mysql command cmd is equal to oh let me zoom this let me increase the font size so that you can watch the code properly like 16 new mysql command and your query goes inside this bracket so go back to your localhost and then sql and then click on insert and copy this insert query go back to here paste over here and then uh, you, uh, you can remove this roll number because roll number is auto incremented primary key that's why it is auto incremented and you can remove this so insert this value field type two single quotes inside two single quotes two double quotes inside two double quotes two plus sign and then here goes txt name dot text and similar procedure txt add dot text t two single quotes inside two single quotes two double quotes inside two double quotes two plus sign and then txt phone dot text and then here goes Two single quotes inside two single quotes two double quotes inside two double quotes two plus sign and then inside this two plus sign txt email dot text so that's it and then you need to connect your this query to your database comma connection and then here goes cmd dot execute non query that's it after this we need to show the message message box dot so successful click on start It will take some time. Like them. Click on insert. Very good, some error. 
connection must be open and valid so go over here and open the connection connection dot open and after opening connection you should close this connection so connection dot close so run your replication here goes take here goes the fall here goes I type this uh, phone number randomly this is not my number click on insert data should be inserted and the message box should appear oops we got some error over here again we got error over here like uh, this may cause its error open bracket oh we forget to close this bracket open close and then open close that's it you should uh, not enter the roll number because a uh, roll number is primary key and it will auto increment it like i'm going to insert a random dot successful that's it we are successful in inserting the data in our database so check go back to your localhost and then check whether this inserted data uh, is inserted in our database or not so that uh, there you can see our data is inserted so that's it in this video tutorial guys uh, in next video tutorial i will show you um, delete update and view or display database in uh, data grid view so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video tutorial bye bye